Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at configuring Supervisor on Laravel Homestead to automatically start our queue workers when we run Vagrant up. Now this video is going to be uh, focused on Laravel Homestead and using a Laravel project, but if you're using Ubuntu it should be a very similar process so you may also find this helpful. Okay, here you can see I've got a fresh install of Laravel and I've just created a job called Hello World. Um, which just prints hello world and then the number of the job so hello world one hello world two etc and i've created a little command called dispatch hello world jobs which dispatches a hello world job to the queue now at the moment if i want to run a queue i'm going to have to come over to the terminal and i'm going to have to type in vagrant ssh in order to ssh into my vagrant box and then i'm going to have to go into the project directory which is supervisor example, so supervisor example, and then I'm going to have to write php artisan q work, like so, and then that should start processing the jobs. Um, at the minute I've not got any jobs on my queue, so it's just uh, not doing anything, uh, but if I did have add jobs to the queue then that would start running them. So that might not be too much of a problem for smaller projects, but often you'll want to share your Vagrant box with a team member and so you'll have to inform them how to start the queue workers. Um, sometimes you'll want to run multiple queues so you'll have to open up multiple terminal windows and obviously your queues are going to go down every time you run reload provision. So you have to come back into the box and fire them all up again manually. So I think it's a much better solution if every time you run Vagrant up or you reprovision your server that the queues come straight back up and you don't have to worry about them. Okay, so let's just shut the queue down, and if we come back out of here, I'll show you where Supervisor is on your Vagrant box. So if you go to CD, etc., Supervisor, you'll see that we have a directory called confd, and we have a supervisord.conf file. And if I go cat supervisord conf you'll see the output of our supervisor file. Um, usually you would put your um, configuration files for supervisor into the conf d folder and if you look down here you'll see it says files and it tells you uh, the directory or it, it states the directory and that's just telling supervisor where to find our configuration files. But I actually think it's a little bit better if we can use the um, Laravel project and just run it straight off so we don't have to start uh, messing around with doing all of this sudo nano from the command line so we can just do it straight inside the root of our project. So let's go back to our Laravel project and let's just create our configuration file so new file and I'm just going to call this laravel worker.conf and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in program and then we're going to name our program laravel worker. Um, next you just want process name, that's always standard, so uh, you can just copy that straight from the video. And we want to type that in our command. So our command is obviously going to be PHP, and then we need the root to artisan, so home vagrant uh, supervisor example um, artisan. And then I'm just going to do Q listen I think queue listens better in development uh, because you don't have to keep restarting the queue every time you change one of your jobs so tries equals three and then we just want to put in some um, options so we've got auto start equals true and then we have auto restart equals true and then we have this stop as group set that to true and then kill as group you can set that to true also and you can find out what all of these mean on the supervisor documentation um, so and then we want our user as vagrant and then number is the number of processes so we just want one process probably in development um, but you can have multiple processes so it would just be running this command if you set that to two for example it'd basically be running that command twice so you'd have two queues working simultaneously um, and then we want redirect standard error we want to set that to true that just sends uh, it just sends our errors 
through to um, supervisor and then we just want our log file so and that will be and we'll set that to home vagrant and then supervisor example and then we can put that in storage logs worker.log and then we've just finally do these stop wait sex uh, by default that's 10 seconds and we can put it up to 30 and that's just um, how long a uh, supervisor will wait before it actually kills the process so if you've got a job that takes 20 seconds to run then you'll probably want to put your uh, stop wait seconds up to 30 or 60 just to make sure that it actually finishes before supervisor kills it now we've done that we're going to want to tell supervisor where to find this file so let's come back over to the terminal here and I'm just going to clear this out just so I don't have to keep scrolling down and we want to we're already in the supervisor directory so as you can see uh, conf d supervisor d dot conf and if I do um, sudo nano and then I want to go supervisor d conf you can see that I can now edit this file and uh, I pointed out this part at the bottom that says include files equals so what we want to do is we want to come down to here and we want to tell supervisor where the configuration file we just wrote is so we just do a space and then you just go home vagrant supervisor example Laravel worker dot conf and then all I need to do is to just hit the X to save it and it will just ask me whether I want, want to overwrite it like so and if I just show you you should see that this has now been updated as you can see down here you can see that um, the files line has been updated to point to our Laravel worker configuration. So now we just need to tell supervisor to reread this file and start our worker. So to do that we want to type in sudo supervisor ctl control and then that will be reread and as you can see it now says Laravel worker available and so then we want to do sudo supervisor ctl update like so and so now that's been added to the process group and then finally we're going to want to go sudo supervisor ctl start we want to start a Laravel worker group and by group it means if you've got multiple processes it will start all of them if we do that, you should now be able to see if I say sudo supervisor sudo service supervisor status, you should be able to see this run in. And as you can see here, it's actually got our command. So supervisor has uh, is now properly set up. Okay, now let's go back to our project directory. CD supervisor example, like so. And then we just want to do PHP artisan hello world. And this is our hello world command. I have to add two jobs to the queue. And if I come back over to our project, I'm going to logs, worker.log. There we go. You can see that we've got hello world one followed by hello world 2 so supervisor is now correctly running our jobs so there's one final thing to do and that's to make sure that we start supervisor when our vagrant box is provisioned so here I'm in the homestead directory and you'll see that there's an after.sh file so if we open that up you'll see that we can put in some custom scripts for when we provision our vagrant box and so all we want to do is we want to type in um, sudo service supervisor restart like so and now if we come back over to our terminal 
and come out of here. And then I'm just going to quickly do P8, not PHP, is it? It's Vagrant Reload Provision. Just give that a second. And now if we just go back into the box, so Vagrant SSH. And if we do sudo service supervisor status, you can see that even though we've reloaded the box, um, it still ran our Q listen command. Okay, so that's everything. I hope you found it useful. Um, please put a like on the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the channel, and I shall see you next time.